I rise to support my good friend and colleague from York County's Senate Bill 836, also known as Peyton's Law. When I served in the House of Representatives in 2017, I was so incredibly grateful and honored to be able to work with the Peyton Walker Foundation, Julie Walker, Wellspan Health, and Hershey Pediatric Cardiology to bring a student heart screening event to York County. You know, when the Walker family lost Peyton, they turned their anguish and sorrow into action. And they said they never, ever wanted another family to feel their pain. At that screening event in York County, we were able to screen over 200 students. And from that screening, we identified 12 students who had their results flagged and five that had potentially life-threatening conditions. This bill is a great step to ensure that we provide students and their parents with the knowledge that they need to save their lives. I think that the Peyton Walker Foundation and Julie Walker, God bless them, they realized that as hard as they were working to screen students all throughout central Pennsylvania, that they weren't going to be able to touch every life that they needed to touch. And just think about what they did in York County. Five young men and women who may or may not be here today because of a simple screening event for a little more than 200 students. This legislation providing further guidance, it will give parents and students the tools and the knowledge that they need to screen student athletes and save lives. And most importantly, it's gonna help identify students who may unknowingly have cardiac issues and improve the quality of their lives. Five students out of 200. We need to help those students and those parents out there who simply don't know about possible heart conditions. And Peyton's Law, it will help the beat go on by saving lives from the number one killer of student athletes in the United States. Knowledge is power when it comes to student health. Thank you again to my dear friend and colleague from York County for spearheading this effort and I respectfully ask for an affirmative vote from my colleagues today. Thank you, Mr. President.